It's the Weekend South Jersey, and I'm your always just Joe Marducci. We're going to break it all down for you here with our Weekend Scoop. Four scoops of ice cream for our weekend. Let's talk about it. Freeze likely for most of the mainland on our Saturday morning. This will actually be our coolest night of the fall season so far. We are dealing with coastal flooding at times over the weekend. We had some on Friday morning. Then we have a nor'easter that just misses on Sunday, and that's helping to drive that coastal flooding. But I do believe we are going to be rain-free. And then... You know, if you like snow, you could say today on our Friday officially begins snow season. Our earliest recorded snowfall at Atlantic City or National Airport was November 5th. Taking a look at our low temperatures for our Friday night, we are going to be below freezing for most places, right around 32 degrees along and east of the parkway on the mainland. And of course, the shore is staying warmer with water temps in the upper 40s to the 50s in the bays and along the ocean side here. We'll have a clear sky. Here's how to prepare for that freeze for your plants. Take in sensitive vegetation to cover plants that can't be taken in. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to 28 or 29 degrees, that might not even be enough here and at home make sure you protect your pipes as we go into the overnight hours as well looking at our weekend you might want to do some fall foliage sighting here well we are just in patchy stage in the southern part of the state but if you go on up north you're getting more fall foliage to be in peak stage now it's not necessarily vibrant here because we did have a really warm october and that helps to stunt the growth of the foliage but it was still there then as we go into our saturday Here's what we have, high pressure overhead here. And this is a strong, this is a beefy high pressure system. It is blowing in an easterly wind and that's helping to drive our coastal flooding as we go into our Saturday and Sunday. Just looking for minor stage during the high tides an hour or two before and an hour or two after this year. These high tide times, when you look at Ocean Monmouth, Cape May, Atlantic, that is for the back bays here since that's where we're seeing most of the flooding. Taking a look at Ocean, excuse me, Sea Isle City here, Central Avenue. Gonna see some water here as they have on our Friday morning, but not really much else across Sea Isle City. And yeah, if you're on the Black Horse Pike or the White Horse Pike between Atlantic City and the mainland, you will see some water here and probably a lane closure, but nothing significant. Going into Sunday, here is our storm system that's trying to make its way our way. Here's that pressure system, the center of the lows there, but high pressure is just gonna kick this thing out. Stays right, and we are talking about a dry Sunday for us here, although one that will be cloudy and dreary and even at times a little bit breezy out the shore, it's a northeasterly wind, generally around 15 miles an hour, especially as we go overnight and into our Monday morning. So here are our numbers. This is Friday night. Low temperatures will say 33 on the mainland, though most places will see the frost and freezes as we will be below that in many spots. Shore will be 41 degrees as we turn calm. Going into our weekend forecast, Saturday is definitely the better of the two weekend days. More sunshine here. Temperatures even a little bit higher than the past couple of days. Still about four degrees below average, but you know, it's warmer than where we've been. And our overnight low, no threat for frost or freezes as we go into the weekend. Again, Sunday is that cloudy, dreary day, and both days we are dealing with coastal flooding during the morning. We have our Rutgers football forecast for this Saturday against Wisconsin. Uh, Rutgers is an underdog here, but maybe we'll see if they can squeak it out. It will be feeling like football weather. Temperatures peaking in the mid-50s, sliding into the 40s during the game here. And that sun will be out, but the sun sets just about 5.45 p.m. and it's setting on the north side, excuse me, the southeastern side of the end zone. I apologize. So it's pretty much behind the student section here. So it's probably going to be one of those days where you're going to want the jacket, even a heavier jacket, because it will get cold quick, especially when that sun is going down. Here's a look at our outdoor planner for Sunday. We have green lights for raking leaves and exercise. Strong the boardwalk, okay on Sunday. A little bit windy, I think, but overall, I think you will be all right if you did want to get out on the boards. Here's a look at our mainland seven-day forecast. We'll take you to our Monday. We will see increasing sunshine and increasing temperatures. We'll be in the 60s for our Monday, and we're just going to plug and play those 60s into most of next week as well. We are talking about plenty of sunshine as we go into our Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to be talking about a good amount of sunshine still, and then our next threat of rain wouldn't be until the end of the week on Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. We'll be keeping you updated on the coastal flooding situation on our website, pressspacey.com slash weather, or give me a follow on social media as we tell you everything happening in South Jersey on Saturday and Sunday.